Hey, what's up, you guys? Sean, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hey, I wanted to talk because I've been getting a lot of people that ask me about coffees and what they should have with coffee. Well, for myself, I like black coffee and I like to put sugars and creams in it, but I do know that there's a lot of calories inside those sugars and cream. Now, the sugar is in itself is a white grain. It's going to hold on to store as fat. But one thing I know about coffee is it is a, a suppressant of food, so it is actually in a way could help you. But I see some people who kind of can abuse it, turn into a, like an abusive thing, is because they'll have coffees throughout the whole day, and without that, they won't eat throughout most of the morning. They'll wait till somewhere around two o'clock, and all of a sudden they're starving and hungry. So then they'll go eat that lunch and just gorge on it, and go out to eat with friends or people at work, and we'll go gorge or whatever you can go have your lunch. They'll gorge because they got to drink coffee all morning because they don't like to eat. In the morning, have their jaws moving. They just have that cup of coffee and it gets them moving. And I know it's a lot of uh, a lot of the things. People's morning starts with coffee, but make sure when you have a coffee, just try to put in a little water between it, or cut the water off at a certain time, or cut the coffee off at a certain time. You can have at least one or two cups of coffee if that's what you're used to, or let's just cut it down, shorten it down a little bit. Cut down on the creams and sugars if you can, and, um, and and let's just go with the coffee, or let's pick a tea later on in the day when you want that coffee fix or that drink warm fix. You can drive a tea instead, or let's just cut down the creams and sugars and such like that. That will really save on some storing of its fat because sugars and creams and things, they're just bad things that will keep inside of you and they'll hold on as fat and they're hard to burn off. But the good thing about coffee is, is coffee is something that's going to get you jacked up and moving. So I don't say don't have coffee, especially if you, look, if you like coffee. I'm not telling you to quit drinking coffee. I'm just telling you, coffee is a good thing, and, but it can turn into a bad thing. Like people say, too much of one thing can be it to be the bad. Yeah, 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 I'm not a big thing in the books and stuff like that. But, um, but what I'm saying, coffee can be great, but just have it in the morning. Try not to drink too much of it throughout the day. Suppress you, make sure that you're still getting something to eat. Have your coffee, just cut back some of the creams and sugars, and you should be great. If you do, that'll start seeing a lot of the um, fat being stored on top of you, and it'll start ripping itself off. Trying to drink some waters in between is definitely good to kind of flush out your body and kind of keep those things moving out of your body. But I'm having a cup of coffee right now because I got some work to do. I'm gonna get back to some more emails and I'll try to get back to you guys later. All right, hope it helps and keep it real.